Hello and welcome to this little solder tutorial for the Spacehoon badge. First of all, you are going to need a Spacehoon badge kit, which you can get at spacehoon.store. Then you will also need a CR2032 coin cell battery, as it is not included in the kit right now because of shipping restrictions. While the kit includes all necessary components, except the battery, you will still need some extra gear to assemble it. We will need a soldering iron, a sponge to clean it, a wire cutter, some solder and tweezers. I also recommend you get some kind of solder mat or anything uh, that is safe to work on, so you don't ruin your favorite desk. Here you can see all the parts included in the batch kit. We have a little business card that gives you some soldering tips. We have a safety pin, two self-fading RGB LEDs, a 220 ohm SMD resistor, which is optional, a on and off switch, battery holder, PCB of course, and a space one sticker. It's always handy to have a look at the business card we include, because it also explains the process. You heat up the pad first, then you add solder, and you make sure that it goes around the entire pad uh, nicely. So I've put my soldering iron to 300 degrees as I've learned that soldering this kit for this soldering iron and the solder I use, this is best temperature. I'm going to take the back side of the PCB and I'm going to start with the battery connector. You are going to heat up the surface and then just add solder. Now, the solder here doesn't really want to stick, but that's better. So now I have a nice small uh, layer of solder on here. Then I'm going to take the battery connector, make sure it's the right orientation, check the silk screen with the component. As you can see, it has a little uh, corner here that's also drawn here. We also have the plus and minus, which is also visible on the part. Then you just place it on there and I'm just going to go over here and add more solder. Just going over that nice and smoothly. Now we have our first pad soldered. Same procedure on the other side, um, so we just heat up both parts and add solder. There we go. And we have successfully soldered the battery connector. Now I'm going to solder on the on and off switch. For that I'm going to free this little switch from its packaging. and I'm going to place it on the PCB. Same procedure, this time it's a bit trickier because the pads are much smaller. I'm sometimes having trouble soldering this, so again I use the same trick as before. Adding a bit of solder on one of the pads, placing the part, and then just heating it up again and adding more solder. And let's order the other side. Now the pads on the left and the right here are just to keep the on and off switch in place. Now we have three other pads to solder here which are a bit more important. If you created a bridge, a solder bridge here between those pins, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this one is not used and so if they are bridged it doesn't matter. It doesn't also have to look great, it just have to well, keep this in place and have a good connection here and here. Now before we go on to the safety pin and the LEDs, I would like to show you how to solder on the SMD resistor. So first of all, I'm going to get it out of its packaging, which can be quite tricky, so I'm using my tweezers. Okay. 
So this is how it looks when you got it out of the packaging. Um, to make the whole process easier as last time I'm going to add a bit of solder to one of the pads. Going to take the SMD resistor and keeping it in place with my tweezers. Then applying more heat with the resistor. Now it's being held in place and I can solder the other side. And now we have successfully soldered the SMD resistor. Now keep in mind, this resistor is just here to dim the brightness of the LEDs. You don't need this resistor and if you have trouble uh, soldering this because it's maybe too small or you lost it or, you know, doesn't matter, you can also easily just bridge these by just adding a bunch of solder. Now for comparison, this is a batch with the resistor sorted and this is one without. Especially if it turns green, it's very visible. Now I recommend you solder on the safety pin next. Sometimes they are a little bit bent and that way it makes it much harder to solder on. So make sure yours is straight or a bit bent in the other direction. Now this component is a bit special because it's not an electrical component and it will not like to be soldered easily. So the trick here is to first add a bunch of solder. I'm just going to do that with one of the pads. Then you take the safety pin and put it in place and just heat the pad up again. So what do we do? We just add more solder, a bunch of solder. And I just like to add it to the middle of the safety pin. So eventually some will stick on and that's when we can heat it up again and try to connect these. And if it doesn't work, just keep adding solder. Like this. It, it's now kept in place by the solder. And this one doesn't have to look great. Again, it doesn't fulfill any function to the circuitry. It's just here so you can pin the badge onto like any clothes or whatever you want to pin it on. Of course, I haven't forgotten about the other pad. So I'm going to do the same process again. Just adding solder, more and more solder. Now, while this looks like an ab abomination of a solder point, it fulfills its purpose perfectly because now uh, both pads are bridged and this thing will definitely keep in place. The only thing left to do here is solder on the LEDs. So before we do that, I actually like to test if everything is working by adding a coin cell battery, switching the device on, putting in an LED. Now, if it lights up, everything is good to go. Before we continue, we have to remove the battery again. Each LED has a long and a short leg, and there are multiple ways to make sure you align these in the right way. For example, the business card we include teaches you that the plus side is the long leg and the minus side has the short leg. You can also indicate it through the way the LED is shaped. And of course you can see a plus and minus on the silk screen. Now I'm also going to tell you that you want to put in the long leg in the round hole and the short leg in the square hole. Now to be even more sure that it's aligned correctly, you can also see on the silk screen there's a longer line here and a very short line here. This should also indicate you that this is the side with the long leg and this is the side with the short leg. So I put in the LEDs and I bend the legs in opposite directions to keep them in place. So now I can solder them. If you think the connections are good, then again you can test this by adding a battery, turning it on 
and see if the LEDs turn on. And they both do. So now I'm once again unplugging this. And now I'm going to use my wire cutter to cut off the legs. And that's it. So for the last time, turn it on and enjoy your space hoon badge. Now everything left to do is of course clean up. Also be sure to plug out your soldering iron, wash your hands, ventilate the room because of the solder fumes. Now you can just use the safety pin to pin it on something. You could for example pin it to your camera bag. Or you could pin it to your favorite beanie, now conveniently available at spacehoon.store where you can also get your badge. Sell out. Or you pin it to your hoodie or your t-shirt or whatever. The battery life will definitely last more than one hacker conference in my experience. So um, definitely more than 24 hours. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this batch and I hope some of you can can improve their soldering skills with this or teach someone else or use this as a gift idea or whatever you want or maybe a little accessory for the next hacker conference. Hopefully we will see them again uh, once this pandemic is over. And uh, yeah, thanks thanks for watching. I hope you like this tutorial and see you in the next video.